Growing up in Chicago though, like you you inadvertently get exposed to a lot of things, whether it be drugs, violence, uh, crime in the community, but growing up there is definitely a place where you gotta stay focused and stay locked in on something. Basketball was definitely a way to cope and um, kind of give give yourself an opportunity to do other things, but that's just something I think that's ingrained in the community back home and just it was ingrained in my family. To me, it was like, kind of like a rite of passage to play basketball in Chicago. I named him after me. He's basically my namesake, and you know, he was, I don't want to say latch baby or whatever, but we were just always attached to the hip. I got to credit a lot of my journey to my mother. Like, I being a single mother, my father had passed when I was just a kid. Um, so she definitely stepped up. That meant taking me to, to AU tournaments in Wisconsin or Ohio or wherever it may be. Sacrificing her time, sacrificing her money to, to put me first. I wouldn't be where I am now without it. I remember my mom playing ball with me in the backyard. I don't even know how old I was. We played 21 out in the backyard. I'm thinking, hey, he's going to beat me. No problem, hands down. She was cooking me, killing me. Um, I beat him. He was upset. I started crying. So he ran in the house and he just basically locked me out in the backyard. It was just the fact that his mom beat him. That's something I will always carry in my memories about him as a little kid. As I got to eighth grade, I remember taking the game really seriously. And uh, I was gonna play basketball with my brother, Ryan. Ryan Royal played at the local high school. And that was my brother's junior year of high school. Um, he was gunned down outside of a party in uh, June 5th, 2011. And that day is definitely like the day that I would say changed my life forever and just put things into perspective. When um, Ryan was uh, was killed, it, it was devastating. It was devastating to our entire family. Carl was um, very, very touched um, by his brother's death because again, they, they had a very close relationship. time for me going into high school and just starting a new chapter in my life, but it was a definitely a new time because I didn't have my brother there with me. His saying was, I am my brother's keeper and I want to go on and just uh, show Ryan, you know, um, what a great ball player I could be. I'm, I'm very proud of him and how he's handled it all and how he's going on to keep his brother's memory alive. Carl has worn the jersey number 14 grammar school all the way through college. That was Ryan's number, and Carl vowed that he would always wear that number in memory of his brother. 14 holds a very big significance for Carl. Yeah, so when Ryan passed away in the summer of 2011, I had like kind of like a reality check. I, I could have went two ways. I could either, you know, devote my time and energy to to my, my craft and what I love to do, or I could, you know, get swallowed up by my environment. With the past of my brother, it only inspired me just to get in the gym more because I knew how much we loved the game and how much we wanted to do it. Every day, I woke up around 5.30 a.m. and I would take the train up to school every day. And from there, I would walk three blocks but for me, it was just, it was a fresh start. It was a new beginning and, and it was, I was happy. I was able to be me. I was able to be Carl. My favorite video game? Uh, Super Smash Brothers. Moving to my junior year, I started to get a few different division one offers. And uh, the fall of my senior year is when I committed to La LaSalle University in Philadelphia. Starting at LaSalle in fall of 2015 was a, was a dream come true for myself. Just to be playing Division One basketball and from the circumstances I had come from, how much hard work I had put into the game over the years. And it was a great experience. Um, I left after my freshman year. Uh, the coach ended up taking a, a new position somewhere else.
My time at Northern Arizona was definitely uh, an unforgettable time as well. I was able to get a degree. So many people from my position and where I'm from didn't have that opportunity. So I was definitely grateful for, for that opportunity. As far as basketball, I, I wanted more. I definitely wanted more. So I explored the grad transfer option this summer and, and stumbled across uh, Northern Kentucky University. And um, since here, we just kind of hit the ground running. It's been great. Carl Harris, another Chicago kid from De La Salle High School, is in the game. I mean, the feeling back home was almost surreal. Just, just being able to play in front of my family again. Um, you don't know how much you miss them until you've been away from them. So just to see their faces, just to hear them cheering for me, and um, just being out there on that floor was great. I think everybody just um, embraced the fact that it was my first time being able to play back home in a, in a while, so it was really special. I'm very proud of Carl. Um, he's grown into a fine young man. Um, just to see him um, get his bachelor's degree, um, now he's working on his master's degree, and having the opportunity to play the game of basketball as he always wanted to do. I'm just extremely proud of him. It, it's just a wonderful, wonderful feeling as a mother to see a child grow from a little boy, you know, into a grown man. And I just thank God for him. He's truly, truly a blessing. While looking at me, it might be a lot of like different misconceptions, like me being from Chicago and I went to three different universities prior to here, but I think that's all just made me who I am. If you take a look at my life, it's a lot of things that people don't know about me, that they, they wouldn't know about me unless they've been in my situation. I just think everything up to now has just been Part of my journey of perseverance and just um, sticking with it, believing in myself and um, believing in everything that I do. So I think this year has been a great opportunity for me to display that. Coach Horn um, has given me an opportunity to, to, to just be, be me on the team, bring energy, bring uh, tenacity, and uh, just leave it all out there every day. And uh, I feel like everything I've been through prior to this has prepared myself for this moment. Even though the time has been short, Thank you, North Nation, for just supporting me and, and um, bringing me in the family. You can get out to senior night, February 28th, and pack this joint. This is Carl Harris, a wing from Chicago, Illinois. I'm signing out.